Okay, so it's uh, Sunday and we're back at it again trying to get some uh, orders in and today it's super rainy so I don't know if that means people are staying in and ordering their food and other DoorDashers are staying in but we'll see if we get uh, pretty good orders. The last time of uh, part one we did not get a lot of orders in the close to nine hours between eight and nine hours eight and a half hours we got like 18 orders which is terrible that first hour that we did in seattle we got four orders in one hour and that was when there was like this little outage and there was like kind of an error message with an hour outage today too so um let's see if that benefits us at all the first order that we get is at Habit Burger, and that's going to take about 15 minutes. And they said the offer is going to be $11.25, so that's good enough for me. So I head on over there. We handed off, hand off the order to the customer, and because the customer saw my amazing haircut, we get an extra dollar at the end. Okay, so we're in the line for, drive through line for Jack in the Box. Man, the thing I hate about these uh, fast food restaurants is sometimes you have to go into a lobby and sometimes you have to go to the drive through and it doesn't tell you whether or not you should go to one or the other. So you have to get out, go back in, huge waste of time. Uh, yesterday I had to go to the Wendy's, says go to the drive through go to the drive through they said to come into the lobby. I go to this place, the lobby's not even open. So that's an unfortunate thing. Complete waste of time. Wish things were just a little bit more coordinated. I guess nobody, DoorDash doesn't really care about wasting our time. They're just, they just give this leeway for uh, the dashers to try to figure out. So that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Just gotta find a way to cope with it. So I messed up a little bit at around like 3.15. Uh, I stopped getting orders and I didn't know why. But then I realized I set my end time at 3.30. So I think they should stop giving me orders. But then I changed it and I got an order right away. So right now we're headed over to Azelle's to get some chicken. This should be a quick 15 minute one for $7.50. And so that's around, you know, $30 an hour. So that's good enough for me. So uh, we're headed there now. Okay, so we're about three hours in and we're making about $30 an hour, um, three, hours and three hours and 15 minutes, but we got a good order coming up at Habit Burger. So that's where we're headed to right now. And it should be just a quick one, but uh, today we're getting like really good orders, consistent orders. Um, and that's what exactly what we're looking for to pick up from yesterday, a uh, slow day yesterday. Okay, I messed up. I just accepted order for a for like 20 minute uh, order, but for like $18, but it's in a different city. I have to go deliver it to Bellevue, which uh, we gotta pray that I get lucky and find a way back, get an order coming back. Otherwise, I'm just gonna waste another 20 minutes 
for nothing. All right, we'll see how it goes. Okay, we had to had difficulty getting to this place called Mochnut. <laughs> Look at this can. Well, it's not really a can. It's like plastic, but it has a uh, like a can uh, lid on top. That's kind of funny. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. Okay, so it's now 7.30, I uh, just went all over the place trying to find the entrance to the hospital, sent me to the wrong place, but um, we're hoping, I'm at 80 bucks, so I need like 35 more dollars until I'm done, and we got about 25 more minutes before, uh, I would like to get done at around 8 o'clock, so I can go get something to eat. But other than that, that's where we're at right now, and uh, hopefully we get some orders so we can uh, close out. Alright, great. I got tricked again. So I accepted at McDonald's, and it's 9 o'clock. It's not even 9 o'clock, it's 8.45. Um, and the lobby's closed, so I thought I could just go in there and grab it and drop it off, which would be a really quick uh, order, but instead we got like freaking eight cars in front of us. So we're trapped here, and I mean, that just sucks for us, but we're just gonna have to tough it out to uh, get those last couple bucks. I just so happened to drive by the door when the worker opened the door to help another customer who forgot like a cookie or something. And I asked her about the DoorDash and this lady just hooked it up. She uh, went out and grabbed my order and just handed it to me and I didn't have to wait in line anymore. To recap for the entire delivery for the day, the Sunday, I think it was like a huge, huge improvement from the day before, which was Saturday, um, in terms of getting consistent orders, going to the restaurants and having the orders be prepared on time or as soon as I get there. So that was a interesting experience, having a Saturday be so slow and also just be so chaotic and disorganized. And then a Sunday, just have everything turn around. So our totals for this trip is um, we worked about seven hours, seven and a half hours, and got a total of two hundred nine dollars pay, and that comes out to be about twenty seven dollars and eighty seven cents per hour. This is wasn't our it didn't hit our goal. Our goal was I tried to hit thirty dollars an hour, but I think if I didn't mess up and take that order where it took me to a different city across a bridge then we would have hit the goal so that's a big lesson learned i think i think i learned a lot of good lessons in this trip so i feel like i'm going to be improving from now on um just it's just going to be uphill from here also uh just maintaining my expectations is also helpful too so if you like this video and like this content go ahead and subscribe to the channel and that's it for this video